Hi, everybody. It's Coach Tracy here from Sleek Body and also from Sleek Bikini Team. And this is a blog update, of a vlog update for, um, for those of you who followed my show prep. And I wanted to just do a little quick talkie about it because I write a lot on my blog. And it's maybe you just want to hear me tell you a little bit about what happened with my show. Okay, so about 30 weeks ago, my husband and I, Rob, we decided we were going to do the OCB pot of gold here in Las Vegas. And that was going to be really super excited. So we started working really hard in about June to get that get going. And as it turned out, as we, about a week ago, I decided that I didn't want to do OCB pot of gold anymore because I wasn't completely happy with the way I came in. Now, I'm going to go over that with you because I don't want you to think any, I want you to be clear on what that means. Um, Rob was doing really good and he totally could have hit the stage, but he, um, we're kind of like ride or die. So we go together. So I pushed my show back to do the um, OCB Wisconsin Naturals, which I'm actually on the poster for. So I kind of really wanted to do that one anyway. But one of the reasons why I wanted to do it is because my team is going with that with us to that show in, in Wisconsin in Madison in September. And it was just going to be really a great experience for us all to go together. And I kind of want to compete then. So they have the glamour category, which is the um, angel wings. And I am a UFE glamour elite athlete. So it really fit me better than the OCB one here. And, I, you know, I'm OK with it. It was a pretty tough decision to work for 30 something weeks on a show. And then um, I, I'm not going to say I bailed on it. That's not at all what happened. And I think that there's a lot of people out there who go, oh, she quit or she can't do it or this and that. But I'm kind of a, uh, I'm kind of part of myself and I'm kind of really, am, uh, really wanted to bring my very, very best to the stage. So what happened was, I started the prep at, you know, at probably more weight than I have been carrying for a while because my last actual prep was 2019. And, you know, we moved and there was COVID and I mean, after COVID and we moved after COVID to Las Vegas and I went on a lot of new medications, a mental health. I went through some mental health, um, mental health situations which is very real for everybody and I took a lot of time to process a lot of that stuff too so that's re that's reality um and I was still lifting and but I really needed to lean out quite a bit and I wasn't sure what I was going to look like when I leaned out because I was always lifting heavy the other thing that's really important to know and what's really important to me as a coach and as an athlete is this is my first show post-menopause. Um, I competed in perimenopause because I started competing at age 50 and now I'm 57. Um, I'm sorry, I competed. It's been 10 years now. So, oh my gosh, I've lost track. So it was in my late 40s. 47 is when I started my, my journey. Um, but I started pole at 50. Uh, but yes, it was perimenopause. But being somebody who has already gone through the whole cycle of menopause now, it was very interesting to me. It was going to be something that I needed to document and something that I needed to test and some ways that I actually needed to um, make changes. So I wasn't sure. And I and I did find that I needed a little more work to get to stage. So this having the extra 29 weeks to get me to stage is going to be great. I am not at all upset about it. Rob is not at all, all upset about it. We are great. We are golden. We live a lifestyle of, you know, really, this is our lifestyle. So it's not, it's not brutal and it's not horrible. It's just something that I was not 100% feeling super comfortable with. And I can make changes and tweak to get there. So that being said, I didn't quit and I didn't throw in the towel or I didn't derail or anything like that. I wanted you to know that because that's not who I am, but I do want to post in this video what I learned. And one of the things that happened to us is right after prep started about two months in, I felt super proud of myself. I was like, I am going to go get my blood work drawn because we had to anyway. Well, we came back with the three of us, our son and my husband and I both, both had higher A1C numbers and that's blood sugar. And I didn't like that. And I, we, you know, we were 
mar markings that were taking us to prediabetes, which is really weird because we don't eat crazy amounts of sugar. But I did notice that the foods that I was really getting, that I was very used to eating a lot, had they started adding on the back of the macros, added sugars. And you can see how much more added sugar was being added to the products that we were normally using. So for us, we had to do some deep dive into our planning of our foods and making the foods work for us. And we were able to accomplish through the course of this prep, as well as looking our best that we've ever looked, um, to actually have lowered all of all three of us lowered our A1C numbers and we had great results with lowering cholesterol and, and that as well too by modifying our food plan. So just to be clear, I did not do bro dieting. I did not do oh, you only eat clean. You have to eat clean. I don't believe in that. So we did not do that. I was able to really make a beautiful um plan of food and work with a lot of really amazing tasty food my husband is the master at the grill and the smoker we live in las vegas so really all year round now we can use the smoker which is phenomenal but we used to crock pot a lot as well too so there's we didn't do anything that you couldn't do or anybody else couldn't do we just made a very um strong decision to improve our health and to help ourselves to be better overall and going into this competition with healthy um bodies and not you know depleted or so on and so forth so that's kind of that those are some things that we really wanted to to add to the mix that the whole project was the goal was to get to stage which we will but the benefits that we learned were so amazing and so much better and so much more fun that I loved doing it. So this next round that we're doing to get ready for September, for the OCB September show, we are going to be focusing on mobility because our posing is based on really being more mobile in our lower backs. And just as a person who's 57 years old, I am really flexible, but not clearly enough to be able to increase my chances of making a better showing at in posing and posing something that I've never spent that much extra time in. I was good enough to place, but now it is very competitive and I want to bring an absolute striking package to this show. So that's something that is super important to us. And I just knew that we can get better at mobility and be better at our posing and our packages so we can uh, represent the way we want to in that as well. And we're also going to be making uh, a little bit of changes to our program so that we can uh, come in a little leaner and tighter than we were heading in that direction. So I think it's going to be really good. I feel I feel like I learned so much during that time. And I'm so grateful for all the people in my life that support me um, and that are cheering for our family and cheering for us as we go through this, being 57 and still competing. I know that's not really anything, you know, big to a lot of people, but it's it's a really awesome challenge for me to, to remain as young and flexible and, and as um, long, training for longevity and still doing what I love to do in the industry. So if you are somebody who needs a, a coach or you want to reach out or talk about my plan or talk about your plan or whatever, you can reach out to me. I'm, I would love to know more about you in any way that I can help you with your programming. I do lifestyle and I do competition coaching. And I want to make it clear that I believe that women over 50 can be whatever they want to be, a pole dancer, they can be an aerialist, they can do whatever they want to do and compete on stage. So let's get together. Let's talk about it. Thanks, you guys. I'll talk to you later.